Now let's go to Chip Reed in Washington, in Virginia, I should say, at the Pentagon. Chip? Well, Scott, when the shaking began here at the Pentagon, a lot of people feared it had been caused by an explosion. As you can imagine, there was tremendous relief here when everyone realized it was an earthquake. I feel a uh, movement of the earth and then silent and then again another time so far and then a very noise boom sound like a bomb throughout the washington area office buildings were evacuated leaving workers literally shaken all of a sudden you, you felt the floor rumbling from under your feet and when i stood up to go see what it was the whole building just shifted like that and shook some initially feared the worst. I thought it was an explosion and terrorist attack. Never would I ever think earthquake in D.C. At the Justice Department, Attorney General Eric Holder says his first thought was terrorism. He was hustled out of the building by his security detail. A camera trained on the White House shook as the quake hit. The president, though, was hundreds of miles away, golfing on Martha's Vineyard, where the quake was also felt. The U.S. Capitol was evacuated, and as a safety precaution, the Senate held a pro forma session three blocks away. Way, the first time since 9-11 they've moved out of the Capitol. At the Washington Monument, a police helicopter looked for cracks after reports of falling stone. No damage was found, but police cordoned off the area just in case. The Lincoln and Jefferson memorials were also temporarily closed. Cars were crushed when part of a roof collapsed in Vienna, Virginia, and some spires were damaged at the Washington National Cathedral. A D.C. Fire Department spokesman says there were numerous injuries throughout the city, but nothing serious. Here at the Pentagon, Scott, there was some minor damage. Some water pipes broke and some hallways and offices were flooded, but it might have been worse. They just completed a structural reinforcement here that began after 9-11. Chip, will you share with the folks at home what you told us earlier about what the park police told you? Well, the park police told us uh, that there were a number of horses, uh, mounted police officers on the mall, say their horses got very antsy about five minutes before the earthquake hit. Fascinating. Scott? Chip Reed, thank you very much.